Thousands of women and their supporters filled the streets from San Francisco to New York City today for the 2021 Women's March event. It began in 2017 in response to the inauguration of President Trump, and it was reinvigorated this year by the fight for reproductive rights in Texas. The march comes just two days before the start of a new Supreme Court term that will decide the future of abortion in the United States. NBC 4's Michelle Valles was at the demonstration in L.A.'s Pershing Square, where she found women passionate about the issue. From the streets of Texas, Washington, D.C., and downtown Los Angeles. My body, my choice. Thousands came out in droves marching for reproductive rights, part of a nationwide series of demonstrations against Texas's nearly total abortion ban. One of the many speakers on the stage outside the steps of City Hall, Paxton Smith, the Texas student whose valedictorian speech went viral for speaking out against the new abortion law in Texas. We will not go back to the days when the only way to end an unwanted pregnancy is to risk our lives. I love living in California, but I'm a Texan and I'm ashamed of what they've done. The Texas Heartbeat Act and Senate Bill 8 has had a chilling effect, with most of the state's abortion clinics no longer offering abortion services in cases where a heartbeat is detected, usually beginning around six weeks of pregnancy, a unique law that can be enforced by private citizens filing civil lawsuits. We don't normally march in October. We march in January. But we needed to rise up to the moment and support our sisters in Texas and support our sisters in Florida and our sisters in Mississippi that may be facing that same law. Today, the message was loud and clear. They don't have to be a mom if they don't want to. Hands off her bodies. One in three Native women actually are victims of sexual assault. I think it's important to kind of have this presence just as people just being here physically. I think it makes a big difference rather than just sharing a post, posting a like. In downtown LA, Michelle Vias, NBC4 News.